Hi everyone, Sue again. Hope you're all doing okay. Um, I just wanted to share with you today a new journal that I've made. Um, it's a soft cover. It measures approximately nine, nine inches by six, six and a quarter. Um, it's got a fabric cover um, with some interfacing in the middle and a fairly sturdy cardstock um, lining on the inside. Um, sorry if I'm a bit croaky, I've just come off um, being stuck in bed for about seven days with vertigo and, and the flu, so um, I'm feeling heaps better, but I just can't shake it fully, so I'm um, sorry about my voice. So um, what I've used here is Tilda fabric um, on the front cover, really pretty, beautiful fabric, um, and the same um, range of fabric in the tie and I've used it in the ruffle here that I've sewn and I've just used some beautiful blue um, seam binding there. Um, it's got the beautiful hummingbirds and I've left it fairly plain. The fabric speaks for itself, I think, so I didn't really need to do a lot to it at all. I really love this um, journal and I'm actually contemplating keeping it myself. Although having said that, I've got so many as it is. But anyway, we'll see what happens. So I'll just go through it with you quickly. I've left all the threads again. They can be um, trimmed off if you like. And you'll probably see this one's a little bit different to um, previous ones that I've done. Is I've left it um, crisp and clean, I guess, is what I call it. There's um, no coffee or tea dyeing in it, no inking. Um, so this is something different for me. But I do quite like the fresh look, so... Um, so this is the inside, nice textured cardstock, so you can see it's pliable but it's still quite sturdy. Um, this is a Kaisercraft range called Miss Betty I think it is, and I've just cut the hexagons out and made a pocket there, just included some writing paper there, and then just um, my business card. So. Um, I've just sewn a ruffle here with some seam binding and then just tied it off into a bow. Um, as I said, I've left all my threads. It's funny, I've left all my threads, which is fine, but the sewing on the clean pages was annoying me. So you'll see on all the pages I've covered the stitching with um, this beautiful washi tape. Excuse me, washi tape. Um, in here I've just put a little pocket with some die cuts and majority of my tags, if not all from memory, are, are nude, so most of them don't have any decoration, so I've left that, um, so if I do decide to sell it, that whoever um, is a recipient can decorate as they please. So I've just included some journaling spots there as well. Um, I've made um, a pocket here with this grid paper, and on the inside, I've just included a, um, a little notebook for more hidden journaling. And then I've just put on the, uh, um, so there's a little pocket there. And then this is a little tuck there. It's just another tuck and just a little journaling spot that I've included there. another nude tag and this is um, the back side of a or the flap side of the of an envelope and I've just tucked it over to the other side of the page um, I've just got a journaling card in there it's just some writing paper and the tag it's just a bit of that beautiful um, washi tape and here I've just included a pocket that I've just put in a brad and a garment pin and I've just put a little bit of cheesecloth and a nice little pink rosette there. And then I've just included some journaling paper in there. As I said, very different for me to have it all nude, so but I like that fresh look. So I've just used a Project Life card as a pocket, side pocket here, and then just included a... Um, a journaling tag there. Here's I've cut. Here is where I've covered up some of that stitching. I've sewn a ruffle there. This doesn't act as a tuck spot. It was just there, um, purely there for decoration. And on this side, I've just done a tuck spot, a nude tag, and then just this little journaling spot here that I've stamped onto white, 
cardstock lined paper and here's another one of those side pockets on this one I've actually just put in some little miniature um, tags swing tags and I've sewn some um, seam binding there and then just put in some journaling paper there now this one here is um, if you want it to be sorry I'll just get a a little tag or something um, it can be a tuck spot I haven't put anything in there and then um, so the camera represents you can put like a nice photo there so on that beautiful rectangular doily so that's why I've done that um, just another project life card with a um, index card to write on is just out of a um, adult colouring in book. This is just a side tuck and I've just included one of these Kath Kipson um, envelopes and just some journaling paper on the inside there. And I mean, this can be moved around wherever you like. Um, what's that? And these two lovebirds here, um, I've made that a tuck spot as well. This is just for decoration. And here is a side pocket. And yep, that I've made just a little tuck there as well if you wanted to tuck something in there. This is just a, um, a butterfly that I've mounted on some 3D tape. This is a top tuck. stuck down this is an envelope um, and I've just put a few just little journaling cards in there um, and then on the other side of the envelope I've actually made a pocket so I've got nothing in there but that acts as a pocket you can put something in there so it's just some nice little writing sheets there and this is the middle of the um, signature so the book only has one signature it's approximately 100 writable pages um, and you can pop anything on the strings there if you like or cut them down I've sewn another ruffle and then put some of that um, washi tape on the back here's another side pocket I don't think I've put anything in there no and then that's the other side of the envelope and it's just got a journaling spot in there as well just one of those um, Tim Holtz side tucks that I do um, and it's just holding a project life card I'm loving being able to use all my project life cards up actually it's great I've got so many of them um, it's just a little side tuck and another little journaling spot there this is just decoration so there's lots and lots of room for journaling and, and record keeping in here. So this is the flap side of um, an envelope that I've just sewn some seam binding on. And then the envelope is on the other side. I've decorated it with some paper and just popped a little tab on a um, Project Life card and popped that in there. And then you can pop whatever you like inside the envelope. Um, so this is actually glued down. So this is actually a pocket, a side pocket, corner pocket, sorry. And then you can also open that up and put some hidden journaling in there. And I've just secured that with a paper clip. I think this is about the only tag that I've put something in, only because it um, I wanted for it to be easy for you to get out of this um, pocket. So it's just a plain tag. And I've just put some um, velvet... Um, daisies on there as a tab and this is the other side of that beautiful rectangular doily it's just a little side tuck there just sewn some um, those beautiful white rosette trim on there as well another little tuck there I've just here I've included um, another one of those Kath Kidston 
um, envelopes. They're really pretty. Now here is two, um, two side pockets, so you can pop photos or a collection of whatever you like in there, and then there's still plenty of room for and, um, journaling as well. This is the other side of that um, pocket, and in here I've just put in some coloured paper for journaling. Um, this is just a um, card that I've done a, a wrap around on the two pages. It's blank on the inside, so you can put some photos or um, hidden journaling in there as well, and it's just held on with a um, paper clip. So that's the end of the book. Um, on the back here, I've just got um, these are my beautiful new book plates that um, Christine Parcell has designed for me. She is Geek Girl Creations. I'll actually link. Um, put a link down below for you if you are interested in checking her out um, so I've just popped a few cards in there and then I've also on in the back here made this a pocket as well so you can put some bits and pieces in there so so that's that little cutie there um, I hope you like what you see guys um, if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye bye